In this video, we're going to be working on some more craft room organizing. Hi, I'm Christina from Creations with Christina. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you can be notified when I post new videos. And don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up. Today we're going to be organizing my IKEA Alex drawer unit. I've had this unit for many years. I've always had it labeled and organized pretty good. But since I've moved into this craft room, I haven't really been uh, keeping it well organized. I sort of have things organized um, in different categories, but I didn't label my drawers. So that means when I went to put stuff back, I just kind of threw it in whatever drawer had enough space to pull that item. I have things in there that I do not need in that unit that belong either into storage or downstairs in our home office. So we're gonna work on organizing that unit and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how I finished the organization. And if you stick around to the very end, I'm gonna have three tips that'll help you keep your craft room organized. So we're gonna go through this drawer and I'm gonna th show you what I have in all of these. This top drawer is all of my different adhesives. I do have some baskets in here that were keeping things organized. However, uh, it's not, didn't really keep up with keeping it straightened and organized. This next drawer is more adhesives. This is more of the liquid adhesives as well as my hot glue guns. I have two of them in here, the refills for that, and then basket with my liquid adhesives. The third drawer is yarn, string, yarn. I'm not, I don't even know what I would call this drawer. It has some yarn in it because I was gonna work on um, making some tassels. I also have the little pom-pom makers in here and then a roll of ribbon and a random notebook. In this next drawer, this is really my supposed to be my ribbon drawer, but as you can see, I have things, a combination of um, ribbon and some of the string stuff. So that kind of needs to be, these two drawers need to be separated into probably um, one dedicated just for ribbon and one dedicated just for string. Moving down is a drawer with my Tonic Nouveau alcohol markers. I keep them in these little zipper pouches, but technically they really don't belong in this unit whatsoever. So they're gonna get moved into my regular crafting drawers. I have no idea why I put them there. And then I, the rest of the drawer are just more of these clear bags. Some of them I purchased on Amazon. I love these for organizing projects if I'm on the go. And then some of these bags are from old Studio Calico Project Life kit that I was getting and I saved the bag so I can use them. And then I also have just a random kind of makeup bag in here. The next drawer is, <laughs> well, it's ink for my printer as well as a random screwdriver. This is my, this is my only tool that I keep up in my craft room. I also have uh, my label maker in here, which we're gonna need for this project. And then I have my little personal printer, my little Polaroid zip printer back there. Next up is um, just a mix of everything. There's tape in here. I have uh, tape. I have whoops, some highlighters and markers and different types of pens. My staplers back here. There's just odd things that need to be kind of organized. And some of these things probably can go. This drawer right here is a mix of some bullet journaling supplies as well as post-it notes. So I've got a couple uh, bullet journal inserts that go inside of my uh, bullet journal. And then I also have a bullet journal sitting here. This is a cleaner that goes for with a magnet, uh, magnetic bookmark stuck to it. This is cleaner that I just keep in this little bag with a, a rag that is for cleaning and polishing your um, my chic sparrow leather journals i also have paper clips i've got some of these cutesy post-its and then regular white post-its and then down the bottom is i'm not even 100 percent sure what i would actually was doing with this drawer but i have a notebook in here i have my carriers for my ipad as well as my computer i have another notebook my address book and a Martha Stewart thing and a couple of other notebooks. So these, this cabinet um, is not very well organized and that is our goal today. So what I'm gonna do is take everything out of these drawers and put them on top of my workspace. 
gonna sort through everything, kind of um, classify it and try to figure out what would go in what drawer and make things a little bit more cleaner and more organized where maybe I'll actually keep up with keeping this in decent shape. I'm gonna set up so that we speed through the organizing of this cabinet and I'll throw some music on, you guys can enjoy it. I'll stop in every once in a while to give you just a little update of what I'm, what I'm doing during this process. I just take it normally I just pour it right on the surface that I need to get the sticky off of which is usually my craft mat but because I'm doing this on the front of the drawers I'm just putting it on some paper toweling and using that to wipe off the label and it comes off so easy you can also if you have it gooby gone is another good one uh, but since I have the rubbing alcohol and I know it works that's what I want with it is all nice and organized. I got everything all straightened out, reorganized, reset. Didn't have to buy any storage bins. I used what was already in here. I got all the labels that were stuck on the front pulled off and cleaned up and then relabeled the drawers on this little edge right here. Let me take you through and show you what's inside. My adhesive drawer is pretty much the same except for that everything is in its own basket. So back here is my dimensional foam in the little basket. I have a basket back here for my uh, glue dots my tape runners, which I took out of the packaging so that they had more room and would fit in here. And then I have another one that's all for my score tape. These baskets, I'm pretty sure I bought at Target. Um, yeah, they are Target, the Room Essentials. I waited for them to go on sale and I just bought a couple of them every once in a while. So I developed a little bit of a collection of those. This next drawer is my hot glue and liquid glue drawer. I took one of these bamboo boxes that I had from the Christmas tree store, they actually stack on top of each other and create like their own lids. I know they're fairly inexpensive. I want to say under $5 a box, more towards maybe $3, uh, $3.99, somewhere like that. I have another of the Room Essentials, or maybe this one might even be the dollar. Nope. 
Sometimes you can get these at the dollar store. Uh, my local dollar store doesn't always have them. Very rarely they have them actually. But this one right here is filled with all of my liquid adhesives. I have like my E6000 and my other types of liquid adhesives there. And in the very back, I have my two hot glue uh, guns. I have my smaller one and my larger one. And in the very back is where I have some adhesive sheets. I wanted to put them there so that I had easy access to those. Moving on to drawer three and four. This was my ribbon and thread drawer. If you remember that it was ribbon and thread were kind of mixed in. So now I have just a drawer dedicated to thread. Another one of these bamboo boxes. And I have all of my thread back here is my wax thread. And then I have some of cording and my Maya art, May Arts, Maya, I don't know why I would say Maya. May Arts thread is here. Moving down to the next drawer is my ribbon drawer. And I may get something to corral or at least one of those um, drawer separators here because these are gonna keep rolling all over the place. But this is the extent of my ribbon. And then the next one is my travel bags. These are my iPad and laptop bags. And then I also have underneath these little bags that um, I have from the Studio Calico kits and a makeup bag in here so that I can just grab them easily and they're all in one spot. So moving down to the next drawer, this is my ink and labeler supplies. All of my inks are here. I had two larger complete sets of inks. Um, one of them actually wasn't a full set. They were actually purchased at a discount price because we have used to have the same printer that I have here at home, at work, and um, we no longer have that printer. So I bought the supplies that they had for that printer. So I have a nice collection and hopefully won't need them for a long time because these inks are like sometimes $15 to $20 a cartridge and my printer takes eight of them. So I try not to use my printer too much. In the very front here, I have my refills for my labeler and then I have my labeler, labeler in the back. And then behind that, I have my Polaroid zip printer along with the cables and the paper for it. And then I also have my typecast ink right there. Next up is my office supply drawer. I took all of my highlighters and my Erin Condren pens and put them in here along with my uh, regular scotch tape. Again, using those little bamboo uh, baskets that I had from the Christmas tree store. I have shipping tape and some other office supplies like chalk and a calculator and that kind of stuff. Next is my post-its and clips drawer. I was able to reduce this down to just being post-it notes and clips, but I threw my screwdriver in here too. So this is all basically just post-it notes. I really just keep these white post-it notes um, because I use them sometimes for masking and card making and stamping, but my son also uses them a lot for school. And then I have all my paper clips, bookmarks, that kind of stuff. And then this very last drawer is all of my notebooks. I never didn't realize I have them spread out so far in between all of the different drawers. So they're all in this drawer right now. So that's how I organized my Ikea Alex drawers. Many things went into storage, many things went downstairs, but for the most part, a majority of the items went right back into that Alex unit. I didn't have to buy any additional storage, storage containers. I used everything I already had and it made it so much easier. Probably took me about an hour to organize it, but I also was filming at the same time. So it takes you know a little extra time when you're filming. So I have three tips that'll help you organize your room and to keep it organized. First, start small. Work in little sections. Start in one particular area of your craft room that probably needs the most attention and do that one first. Separate everything out and put it onto a table like I did today, I put it onto my workspace and that'll help you organize and sort through what you have. My second tip, is get storage bins from the dollar store, from Target, from wherever, and use those little bins to sort all of those little things. As you saw that I used some storage bins to store my adhesive, some thread, some office supplies. You can then take those bins and pull them right out to your craft area. And it's so much easier to clean up when you're done because you just have to pick up the bin and put it back. And my third tip, if you haven't used it in a while, it's probably time for it to go. I started doing this about two years ago or three years ago. I started taking things that I have not used in a long time and started putting them into storage. After six months to a year, if I still haven't used them, it was time for them to go permanently. I would donate them, give them to friends, 
or in past I have done little sales to get rid of some of those items. I hope you find these tips helpful and it gives you some inspiration to organize your craft room. On the screen you're going to find two more videos. The first one is a playlist of all of my craft room videos from craft room tours to organization dating all the way back from when I first started YouTube till today. And the bottom one is a recommended video that YouTube thought you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when I post new videos and I'll see you all next time.